Today I have a walk-in cooler that won't cool below 50 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to start by going into the box before I go up to the roof. I'm going to check the liquid line solenoid with my magnetic field detector. It's telling me it's good, which means the thermostat's good. I've also made sure that my evaporator fan's running and that my coil is not frozen. I always do these checks before I go up on the roof so I'm not up and down. Alright, now I'm looking at the schematic on the rooftop. Uh, show me the compressor is wired in the same contact as condenser fan. Why this is important is because I know if the condenser fan's running, that means my safety loop's good, which means I don't have to check all these components with my meter. My fan's running, so I know that the compressor is getting voltage. Next, I'm going to check amperage on all three legs of the compressor. And I'm getting two amps right across. And next, I'm going to confirm voltage on all three phases. Make sure I didn't drop one. I'm going to go L1 to L2. I'm getting 206. L1 to L3, 206. L2 to L3, 206. I'm good. Next, I'm going to check my pressure. So I'm, I'm getting 153 head at 50 ambient, which is normally good. But my head pressure, saturation temperature must stay above 90 Fahrenheit when we have a head pressure control. Once the ambient temperature goes below 60 Fahrenheit, the head master control kicks in and will maintain a head pressure of 90 Fahrenheit regardless of how low the ambient temperature gets. So based on that, I know we have a low charge. I'm going to go to my sight glass. It's bubbling. I know we have a low charge. So now I'm going to go into leak test mode. I'm going to take my meter, I'm going to check for leaks, and then once I do find a leak, I'm going to confirm with the bubbles to pinpoint it. So what I did on this, I turned off the condensing unit, and I left the solenoid open, so thermostat's still calling, so that my suction pressure would come up. It was at 9 PSI, and I want it to be higher. Uh, in this case, the evaporator coil needs to be replaced. I also changed the TXV and the solenoid and the thermostat. 